Did you know you can attack after a dodge? Yep. Just press the attack button after you successfully dodge, and you'll counterattack. You can even upgrade your counterattacks with more powerful versions and combos at, guess what, your local Spidey store. I'm sure you know all about using the jump button to get off a web while you're swinging, right? Well, if you release at the bottom of your swing arc, you'll launch yourself forward with very little upward trajectory. Okay, this isn't Physics 101, so I'll spare you the explanation for why it happens, but trust me, it all makes sense. Just remember that when you're trying to cover distance quickly, you should try and release the jump at the bottom of your swing arc. Depending on when you release the jump button while swinging, you'll pretty drastically change where you end up. For example, if you're at the top of your swing arc when you release the jump button, you will shoot almost straight up. Think about where you want to end up before you let go of your web, okay? You've probably played around with the lock-on camera when you're in fights, but did you know that you can use it in other places as well? Oh yes, like say during various challenges, or when you're trying to activate switches. It's pretty darn useful when you get right down to it. Some of the most advanced attacks you can buy only work if your spider reflexes are activated. You should be using your spider reflexes anyway, but here's one more reason. So, wall sliding is cool wall sprinting is cool. But it begs the question, which one should you do? How about both, big shot? While you're wall sliding, if you hold the sprint button and press the grab button, you'll transition to a wall sprint. Does the coolness never end? N-O, baby. N-O. Opponent too far away? Web yank him to you by holding down the web button and then pulling back. It's like fishing, except without the pole. Or the water. Or the fish. It's just an analogy. There are all kinds of handy features on your pause menu. In addition to your to-do list, you already knew about that, let's not forget the handy list of what upgrades you've bought and which titles and other special awards you've won. A veritable plethora of useful info. Veritable, I tell you. Okay, hypothetical scenario for you. You're standing on top of a building and you're thinking you'd like to start crawling down the building instead of jumping off. Solution? Easy peasy. Hold the grab button and move off the edge of the building. You'll start crawling down the side. Is that sweet or what? If you're looking for a cool place to swing around, you should go check out the Queensboro Bridge. Don't forget to move the camera around if you want to get a better look at something. But don't worry, if you want it back behind yourself, you can always recenter it, you big baby. Spidey stores are located all over the city. Make it a point to check in every once in a while, especially when you find a new one. They have all kinds of great stuff in them, and let's face it, what good are all those hero points you're earning if you don't spend them on something? Am I right? If you're having trouble finding your next destination, try stopping for a sec and pointing your camera at the destination marker. You'll be amazed how much reorienting like that can help. Whoa, you hit the mother load, the big enchilada. This is it. I'm going to give you a whole mess of hero points. Now, I should let you know, this is the most points I'm ever going to give you, ever. Kind of a letdown when you think about it, huh? You can dodge anytime while you're jumping, running, crawling, even swinging. Always try to dodge attacks. Seriously. If you're having trouble keeping track of a particular baddie, try using the lock-on camera. Remember that you can toggle lock-on camera on and off, too. Looking for more stylish tips? Well, clean swings are pretty stylish, assuming you can keep it up. What is a clean swing, you ask? Well, you know, the ones where you don't slam into the side of a building? Sure, you may be out of control, but if you look out of control, you aren't being stylish. Rule number one, style is everything. Ding ding, geography time. Battery Park is the southernmost point on the island. You should be able to see the Statue of Liberty from there, if it's a clear day. Time for a little geography lesson. Inwood Hill Park is the northernmost point in Manhattan. See? Your brain isn't rotting during a video game, you're learning something. Okay, here's a little piece of advice. I, oh, uh, hang on, I need to get that. Hello? Oh, hey, baby. Well, no, I haven't forgotten. No? Well, listen, baby, it's not like that. Uh, <clears throat> look, I'll have to get uh, back to you later. This might be a while. Well, no one, baby. No, don't worry about it. Yeah, tell me about it. See, listen, later tonight, 
Lucky you, you've stumbled onto a special super secret once in a lifetime special hint marker. You get some extra hero points for your trouble. Activate this again and I'll tell you the same thing, only I'll be lying. <laughs> Have you been to the Queensboro Bridge yet? You can take it out to Roosevelt Island. Definitely worth a look. Between swinging, zipping, wall sprinting and pole swinging, you should be able to stay off the ground and travel stylishly all over the city. No excuses. Okay, here's a dilemma for you. If you swing near the ground, you'll have more points where you can attach your web line, but you'll have to deal with things like signs, awnings, and fire escapes in your way. On the other hand, you can swing higher to stay away from the obstacles, but you'll have fewer points where you can swing. Life is just full of hard choices, but if you're careful, you can probably find good routes for getting around. Practice makes perfect. Want to maximize your speed when you're swinging? Here's what you do. Charge your jump and release at the bottom of your swing arm. That should launch you almost parallel to the street for maximum speed. When you're looking for hidden items, try looking near bushes and other stuff in parks that might conceal what you're looking for. What I'm saying is, pay attention. Want to try something with a little more flash? You can transition from swinging right into a wall sprint if you're holding sprint and the grab button when you hit a wall. If the bad guys slam you up into the air, try mashing the grab button to restore your balance. That trick also works if you get knocked down. Go ahead, try it. Swinging from one web to another without jumping can get a little hairy at high speeds, but it can be really useful for getting around sharp corners. Oh yeah, and it also gives you the chance to stop, which can be, I don't know, handy? You know, if you're looking to earn power for your spider reflex, it's time to think style. See, the cooler you are, the more juice you're gonna earn for that spider reflex meter. What is stylish? How do I know? Having trouble swinging? You know you need an anchor point for your web line, right? That means if you're in a big open area with no buildings or trees nearby, you won't be able to swing. Here's a hint for those looking to maximize their style. You know how you can perform air tricks by pressing the jump button while you're zooming through the air? Yeah, well guess what? It's stylish, so knock yourself out. You should definitely take advantage of the fact that you can jump off a wall as you slide along it. It's a great way to keep your momentum going between swings. Steering while you're swinging is a little crazy. Try not to oversteer. You can end up sending yourself totally in the wrong direction. If you're standing on a roof of a building and you press the grab button, then walk or run to the edge, you'll crawl over the lip and end up on the wall. It's useful for those occasions when you don't want to hurl yourself off a building, which, you know, could happen. There are four different sets of exploration tokens to find in the game. You'll get a couple of hero points for finding one token, but when you complete a set of tokens, you will get a bunch of points and a title to go along with it. Ta-da! So keep your eyes peeled, okay? Now keep this on the DL, but there's a set of exploration tokens called the Hideout Token Set. Look around for them. So, you're trying to earn some hero points, huh? Well, you probably already figured out that you can earn points by stopping crime, but did you know that you get points for finding exploration tokens? Yep. Also completing challenges, activating hint markers, lots of things. Get busy. I know it sounds a little crazy, but if you actually charge jump off your web while you're swinging, you actually have more control down long straightaways and you can move faster too. I dare you to prove me wrong. Did you know that dodging interrupts just about any other action? That means you can try to dodge an attack even if you're in the middle of an attack yourself. Must be nice to be Spider-Man. Charge jumps always give you some forward momentum and some upward momentum. The faster you're moving, the more you'll tend to go forward instead of up. So if there's something tall you're trying to jump over, don't forget to stop moving before you jump to maximize your jump height. Otherwise, bada bing, right into the wall. That flash around your head every time someone attacks? That is your spider sense letting you know that it's time to hit the grab button in order to dodge. There's a sound too, so there is really no excuse for getting hit, okay? You know, being Spider-Man and all, you're a pretty fast guy. That's where spider reflexes come in. 
Not only does the world go into slow-mo, oh, and for those of you keeping score at home, you don't slow down as much as everything else. You also get those contracting rings that warn you about attacks coming. Just be careful about using your spider reflexes, though. You can use it up, which can be awkward, say, if a supervillain decides to pound you into guacamole. There are a lot of ways to earn more juice for your hero meter, but the easiest way is probably in fights. Anytime you dodge successfully, you'll add to your hero meter. Every time you get hit, your loser meter goes up. If you're running short on hero points and you're having trouble completing a particular objective, try doing challenges and reading hints. You can use the points you earn to power yourself up a bit. There are plenty of ways to fill your hero meter. Fight, do tricks while swinging around the city, and generally trying to be stylish. What stylish, you ask? What am I, a dictionary? Spider well, I've given you advice, but I want to give you a little something else. This hint marker is good for some free hero points. It's my gift to you. Oh yeah, and this is a one-time thing. If you try to come back and get more points, you lame little cheater, you're not gonna get anything, so beat it. Hey, uh, I don't want to get into your business or anything, but you don't always have to charge your jump. There are some times when a regular jump is just as good, or maybe even better, and it's definitely faster, right? There's only one arcade in the whole city, and it has four working games. Only four games, you say? Yeah, well, that's the lack of competition in the marketplace for you. A little bit of trivia for you. There are six hospitals spread across the city. Crazy, huh? Hey. There are multiple Spidey stores spread all across the city. Don't worry, though. They all have the same stuff, so when you're looking to power up, just find the nearest one. All right, quick geography lesson. Central Park is in the northern half of Manhattan, and it's huge, trust me. If you have to ask, is this Central Park, you ain't there. The highest point in our city is about 350 meters tall. For the metrically impaired, that's just over 1,148 feet. So, you want some advice, huh? Something to make your life a little easier. How about this? Don't fall in the water. That's all right, don't bother thanking me. Just doing my job. If you find a place where thugs like to congregate, check it periodically. Nothing like being a proactive crime fighter, right? Looking to score some extra hero points? Try hitting one of those challenge markers and see what you can do. That's a great way to get better at swinging and moving around the city, too. If you're thinking that superhero has got to be the most thankless job in the world, Head over to the Daily Bugle and get a little reminder that freelance photographer is still down a few rungs. Remember that you advance through chapters of the story by completing your to-do list. That's good to remember whether you're trying to move ahead or if you want to hang back for a little while. You think fighting supervillains is tough? Try delivering pizzas for a bit. Now that's stress. Tired of the grind of the crime fighter's life in the big city? Craving a little romance? I humbly suggest making your way to Mary Jane's. It's just the place for a weary superhero to break up his daily routine. Depending on the type of situation you're called upon to solve for a citizen in distress, you'll get different hero point rewards. Let me give you a little lowdown on the shock. You probably know that this is the second time you and he have gone toe-to-toe. -to -toe. His real name is Herman Schultz, although he never really looked like a Herman to me. Here's a little Spider-Man trivia for you. Peter Parker's day job is student slash freelance photographer for the Daily Bugle. Between the homework, photo assignments, and fighting crime at night, he is one tired guy. After you find every hint marker in the game, they'll all reset. Only this time, they'll all say something different. Seriously. Spidey's web is as strong as steel, but way more flexible and sticky too. And he can control its elasticity with his mind power. Okay, I made that last one up. I'm feeling generous, so I'm going to give you some hero points. Unless, of course, I've already given you the hero points, in which case, you're getting jack squat. Folks, I'd like to take this opportunity to lay to rest a myth once and for all. The lizard does not appear in this game. Sorry, everyone knows that lizards can only be found in sewers anyway. Looking for a stylish way to get fancy while you swing? Try doing a loop-de-loop. -loop. It's hard. You need a good head of steam going to pull it off but you'll definitely wow your fans if you manage it. And I don't think you can do it. Have you seen the elevated train yet? If you haven't, you should check it out. Want to scale a building in style? 
Start sprinting up the building, then charge your jump. At the last second, release the jump button and then use the momentum to start sprinting again. You'll be up the building in no time and you'll look cool doing it. Oh yeah, it's a little tricky, so don't give up if you can't do it right away, okay? Did you know you can actually attack from a wall jump? Wacky, huh? You can attack while wall sprinting. You'll launch yourself right at the guy, which must be pretty scary for that poor thug when you stop and think about it. You can see the Statue of Liberty from the southern tip of the island. Kind of makes you wonder if there's some way to get out there, huh? Try hitching a ride on a helicopter for some great views of the city. Who knows, maybe you'll even get a ride to someplace new. So, let me tell you three things about Black Cat. 38, 24, 36. End of story. Unless you're dumber than a box of rocks, you probably figured out that there's two types of crimes that you come across in the city. There's crimes that you just kind of discover, and there's crimes a citizen tells you about. What's the difference? Well, the big one is that you don't have to do anything about the random crimes. That's right, there's no strings attached. You see someone beating some guy up, and you can just walk away if you want, even though you're Spider-Man. If you learn about a crime from a citizen, though, well, you should be ready to deal with the problem. If you don't, there's gonna be repercussions. Don't make me explain what that word is. You know about the little green question mark over the heads of some of the random citizens, right? Well, it means they have something to tell you, something important. It's usually a crime they wanna report. Sometimes it's a little surprise though, so stay on your toes. You know all those titles you can earn? Some of them are pretty tough, but the hardest one has got to be gold medalist. You have to successfully complete every single challenge in the city, and that is seriously tough. Let's see, I'm supposed to fill you in on the name of one of the sets of exploration tokens. Well, it's called the Secret Token Set. Mm-hmm, yep, Secret Tokens. Tells you a lot, huh? But you're glad you stuck around for that little pearl of wisdom. If you tell anyone I told you this, I'll deny it. But one of the sets of exploration tokens scattered around the city is the Skyscraper Token Set. Wonder where you find those, huh? I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. One of the sets of exploration tokens is the buoy token set. There are a total of 40 titles you can earn. I suppose you could figure that out by counting the spaces, but you hate counting, right? I'm here for you. Feeling a little rundown? Health not where you want it for that big showdown with the supervillain of the week? Try solving one of the random crimes that pops up in the city. It'll earn you health as well as getting you some hero points, and you know you want those, right? That map you've got is handy for all kinds of stuff. One of the most useful features is the fact that bad guys show up. That's especially good if you're having trouble tracking down a stray goon. Okay, listen up. You're definitely going to want to remember this. You can counterattack with a web after dodging. Just press the web button after a successful dodge. Try doing tricks in the air if you want to max out your spider reflex juice. There are some nice perks that come with having spider reflexes on. You get more warning about enemy attacks, you move faster than the guys you're fighting, and you get more powerful attacks to boot. Don't forget to use it, especially against supervillains. Some of those guys are pretty tough and spider reflexes could be the edge you need. Got it? When you're swinging around, try to keep an ear out for calls for help and other sounds that can let you know when something is happening. Keep your eyeballs peeled for challenge and hint markers as you make your way through the city. Each marker has been hand-placed by highly skilled marker gnomes, and some of them are in some pretty interesting spots. So maybe you knew that Spidey has, and I quote, the proportional strength of a human-sized spider? Well, what does that mean? Well, he can bench press 10 tons, for starters. Why doesn't he splatter goons every time he hits them, you ask? Well, because he pulls his punches when he fights normal humans, that's why. There's nothing like beating the snot out of some goon in midair, right? The only problem is that pesky gravity keeps pulling you down. Well, have I got a hint for you. You can yank that guy to you while you're both falling and keep the combo going. Take some practice, but you'll get the hang of it if you work at it. J. Jonah Jameson may seem like a greedy, self-centered jerk, but deep down, he's really a greedy, self-centered, self-righteous jerk. I have nothing new to tell you except for the fact that I'm being paid by the line, and I just made 60 bucks. <laughs> You know, people keep asking me, are you gonna eat a sandwich this time? I mean, what's wrong with you? Are you orally fixated? Oh, all right, no need for the puppy dog eyes. Here, I'll eat a sandwich, all right? See, you wouldn't want to hear it, right? but I'm gonna do it right now.
All right, there you happy? Good. Let's never speak of this again. Poor Rhino. You know that kid in grade school, the one who had been held back three times, so he was bigger than the other kids, but he just sat in the corner at recess picking his nose? That was Rhino. Except now he has that cybernetic armor that's been grafted to his body, which makes picking his nose a real challenge. Dr. Octopus. I don't want to give anything away for you, but he's kind of the main troublemaker in this little drama. What do you mean you already knew that? Sheesh, no appreciation. John Jameson, America's hero. Except maybe you're not too keen on the guy. I mean, he's moving in on your girl, right? Not that it's any of my business. If you want to stand by and let J. Jonah Jameson's son steal Mary Jane, hey, that's your business. Knock yourself out. Just so you know, hitting a wall ends your style chain, unless you wall sprint. If you do the same type of combo twice in a row, you will end your style chain, so try and mix up your moves. Remember, repetition is never stylish. <sighs> it's boring. When you're trying to link stylish moves together, remember that you only have a little while to make the link. If you screw around, see ya. Wall sprinting is so much fun, you probably shouldn't even be allowed to do it. But no one asked me when they were making the rules, so there you go. Anyway, on top of everything else, wall sprinting is stylish. Like you need an excuse. A quick style pointer. It is stylish to complete a full 360 degree orbit around a tower on a single web line. It's not as easy as you might think. A little hint on style for you. Long tricks are better than short tricks. So if you're doing something and can hold it, like air tricks, wall sprint, speed, that kind of thing, try and maintain it as long as possible. Just remember, quality can be just as important as quantity. If you're looking for <clears throat> hidden items, you might try looking under bridges. Now, I'm not saying whether you'll find anything, but it couldn't hurt to look, right? Hey, here's a style tip for you. Going fast is stylish. That may not sound like much, but getting up some speed can actually be pretty tricky. Of course, I'm sure you'll come up with some clever ways to do it, because you're a cheater. You know, if I were a superhero and could swing from building to building, I think my favorite spot to swing around would probably be downtown. All those tall buildings, there's a lot of swinging goodness to be had there. Want to track down some exploration tokens? But you aren't sure where to start? Why not give the shoreline a try? I hear there's a set that you can find floating out in the water. Did you know you can web swing from the trees in Central Park, you little monkey? If you press the sprint button while you're swinging, It'll make you swing faster. How much of a boost you get depends on when in your swing you press the button. Play around with it. Here's a little navigational aid for you. The big diagonal street that goes the whole length of the island, that's Broadway. Since it runs basically north and south, it's a good, reliable way to get uptown or downtown. Just be grateful you're not stuck in traffic. Now maybe this is obvious, but I wanted to make sure you know that you can wall sprint from a jump or a swing. Just make sure that the sprint button is held down and then hit grab when you hit the wall. If you're looking for exploration tokens, keep your eyes open all the time. There's one set of tokens that is really well hidden. I bet you can find them if you really try though. Looking for exploration tokens? Well, you might try looking on skyscrapers around the city. I hear there's a set that can be found on the tallest buildings. Quick bit of history for you. The Statue of Liberty was actually a gift from the French. It was created and built in France, disassembled, shipped over to New York, and reassembled here. The statue was dedicated on October 28, 1886. I hope you're taking notes because there's going to be a pop quiz soon. Hopefully by now you know all about charging your jump, right? Well, there's some other things you can do with that charged up energy once you buy the right moves. One of them lets you do a punch that can send thugs flying back if you have a fully charged jump meter and press the attack button. Charging a jump is useful all on its own, but there's a couple of powerful attacks you can buy that use the charged up energy too. Example, with a fully charged jump meter, if you do a sprinting attack, you can slam the bad guys up into the air with your shoulder. Good fun, trust me. You might try looking for hidden items in Central Park. I mean, I would. Okay, so you know one of the buttons is called the attack button, right? Well, just because it's called attack doesn't mean it's the only useful button in a fight. Come on, use your web, use jump, and definitely dodge. They're all handy on their own, and you can also use them in combos. Try it. 
Ever notice that the guy you want to grab always seems to be halfway across the room? That's the worst, isn't it? Well, there's a solution. If you web a guy, you can reel him in while you have him attached to your web line by pressing the grab button. Here's a little trick you can do. While you're holding two web lines, you can slingshot yourself out. Charge your jump, wait until you sling back, then release to launch yourself forward. I mean, I don't know what you're gonna do with it, but please use your powers for good, not evil. You can buy upgrades in the Spidey store that will let you web tie more people at the same time. Man, you gotta love that Spidey store. Depending on when you release the jump button while swinging, you'll pretty drastically change where you end up. For example, if you're at the top of your swing arc when you release the jump button, you will shoot almost straight up. Think about where you want to end up before you let go of your web, okay? If you're crawling on a wall, you can use a crawling sprint jump to actually jump across an alley to the next building. Good to know you have options in this difficult world. Counterattacking after you dodge is a very stylish thing to do. Everyone at the club is doing it. Remember, just because you're fighting doesn't mean you have to stop looking cool. When you're attacked, if you press the grab button too early, you're gonna get punched in the face, so pay attention to your spider sense. Style advisory, dodging is stylish. Let's face it, when thugs hit you, you look like a tool. You have to keep your wits about you in a fight, kid. When your spider sense goes off, you have to be pretty quick on that grab button if you don't wanna be eating a knuckle sandwich. If you're interested in maximizing how stylish you are while you move through the city, here's something to keep in mind. Linking stylish moves together is worth more than doing them separately. Words to live by. Here's a little something I like to call an ode to Spider-Man. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, wherefore art thou, Spider-Man? Dost thou what a spider can? Spinneth thou a web of any size? Catchest thou crooks just like yon flies. Thank you. Let me tell you a little about Mysterio. People will say he's crazy, that he has strange fashion sense, or that strange odors tend to emanate from him. But why focus on the negative? Let's talk instead about his wonderful singing voice. Want to know a little about Black Cat? Well, according to this <clears throat> profile I have, her real name is Felicia Hardy. She loves adventure and can hold her own in a fight. Oh, and she has a thing for guys in tights. I'll leave the rest to your imagination. Looking to earn a few extra hero points? Willing to take some abuse? Why not head over to the Daily Bugle? Even if the esteemed publisher is in one of his nasty moods, you can usually count on Robbie Robertson to pull you through with a little work. If you're jumping along rooftops and it looks like you're gonna be a little short, Try using a web zip to give yourself the extra oomph you need to make it onto the roof. It's tons faster than catching the wall and crawling up. Are you spending your hero points? Trust me, if you're waiting for a rainy day, forget it. Those points aren't going to do you any good when you retire. And they might just give you the edge you need against some big baddie down the road. So go to a Spidey store and spend some points already. Keep your eyes peeled for little doodads called exploration tokens. They're collectible. You like collecting things, don't you? Of course you do. For those of you who are just getting to the party, a quick recap. Spidey fought the Green Goblin last time around. Who won? Gee, what do you think? Man, that was a good game. Go out and buy it. Time for Spider-Man trivia. Spidey gained his superpowers when he was bitten by a genetically engineered spider. Not that I would recommend rushing out and trying that, mind you. In case you didn't know, you can use your zoom map to find the hint and challenge markers that are spread all around the city. Lost? Well, you could use your map, but that's what everyone else does, right? Why not try climbing a tall building to get your bearings? If you're ever feeling like you want to take a break from crime fighting, go visit Mary Jane. Seriously, I mean, would it kill you to stop by and say hello every once in a while? Frankly, I don't know why she puts up with you. Ever wondered how spider sense works? Yeah, me too. Mary Jane. The girl next door. The girl I... Huh? Oh, sorry. Uh, anyway, about Mary Jane. Boy, I've never seen two people with a more complicated relationship. Communication, people. Try it. There are more than 100 challenge markers in the city. Think you can do them all? Good luck, chump. I know what you're thinking. 
I'm hungry, but I could really use some extra hero points too. Well, say no more. Just head on over to the pizza place and I'm sure the owner will set you up with a delivery run. Keep an eyeball out for people in distress trying to get your attention. They have all kinds of problems, but most often they'll tell you about a crime they've just spotted. Just remember to take care of the problem once you learn about it, okay? That mini-map you got there is a handy little tool. Not only does it mark important locations, it also acts as kind of a radar to let you know where the bad guys are. Check it every once in a while, please. As things progress, the items you find in Spidey stores will be more and more powerful. When you hear a cry for help, you should try and look into it. I mean, you are a superhero after all, right? There are petty crimes happening almost all the time, so you can fight crime to your heart's content. You can improve the range on your goon toss by charging your throw. It works just like charging a jump. Just hold the grab button while you're grabbing a goon, then release him and boing, watch that sucker fly. Guys shooting you? Sure, you can dodge all day long, but how about being a little more proactive, huh? Take the bad guy's guns away by tapping the web button. Man, that's a good feeling. Oh yeah, it works on guys with other types of weapons too. If you're being attacked and you press the grab button, you'll do a dodge move as long as you aren't a total spaz. Now you need to time it right if you don't want to get hit too, so don't just freak out and jam on the grab button in a fight, okay? Boy, those charge jumps are really wild, aren't they? Now, I'm just talking here, but have you ever thought about the possibilities? I mean, you can cover some serious distance with one of those jumps. I guess what I'm saying is, there's a lot of different ways you can use that jump, so don't just do the same doggone thing over and over again, will ya? I was checking out that web zip, and it's nothing like it used to be. I mean, it kind of catapults you through the air now. Uh, you, you do know what a catapult is, don't you? Anyway, it's still pretty handy, so play around with it. You'll figure it out. If you're being attacked and you press the grab button a little too early, you'll try to dodge, but it won't work. So watch your timing, all right? You know, swinging is a funny thing. Seems like everyone has their own way of doing it. Now, I'm not going to say one way is better or anything, but if you're crashing into stuff all the time or missing your turns, maybe you should try a different technique. Now, if you have an enemy web tied and you pull back while you're tying, he'll come flying right at you. Now, that's the hallmark of a lazy superhero. Why go to him when you can bring him to you, right? If you're sprinting when you charge jump, you'll cover a lot more distance than if you're just running. It's kind of obvious, really. I mean, you're moving faster, right? If you press the sprint button while you're running, guess what? You'll start sprinting. You're Spider-Man, so running's a little gimpy if you know what I mean, but if you gotta run, you might as well run really fast, right? Only thing is, you won't turn that great, so it's not good for tight corridors and things like that unless you like slamming into walls. I mean, hey, that's your own business. If you're ever feeling a little overwhelmed by all the controls, well, quit. Now I'm kidding, take a look at the pause menu. There's a diagram of all the controls. Once you look at that, I'm sure you'll be ready to take on the world. Dodging is really important. It's helpful against thugs, especially the ones with guns. But you're going to be really happy you have it when you take on a supervillain. Because those guys can pack a wallop when they hit you. You know those big blue discs floating all over the place in the city? Those are called challenge markers. Activating a challenge marker will start a challenge course. You have to complete the course in a set time and there may be other conditions. Aha, it's tricky. Challenges are rated on their difficulty and you may not be able to complete some of them without upgrading your sorry butt. If you do the old tap web to disarm trick on a thug with no weapon, you'll blind that sucker and send him into full-blown panic mode. This is great fun at parties too. So, I'm supposed to tell you something about sticking to walls. Uh, let's see. Uh... Oh, I got it. You can stick to walls. You're Spider-Man. Yippee Skippy. If you push into a wall as you move by it, you'll wall slide along it. From a wall slide, you can jump, stick, sprint, all kinds of stuff. Check it out, baby. You can activate spider reflexes anytime you want, as long as you have juice in your hero meter. One neat trick you might want to try is the impact web. It doesn't actually hurt your enemies, but it's a great way to put the stick on someone if you don't want to keep a web line attached to them. Now maybe you already know this, but you should be checking your to-do list whenever you're wondering what to do. Duh! It's on your pause menu. 
so it shouldn't test your hand-eye coordination too much to find it. Remember, ticking off the items on your to-do list is the key to advancing through chapters. If you played the last game, and I'm sure you did, you probably noticed that things are a little different this time around. We hope you like the changes. Oh, and if you haven't played the last game, what are you waiting for, a written invitation? Every hint marker in the city is a direct line to me for a special piece of information, advice, or I don't know, what have you. Oh, and you'll get some hero points too, in case you're into uh, winning. After a few trips to the Spidey store, you're gonna have a mess of moves to try out. You can pull off a lot of them just by pressing different combinations of buttons. Check this out. If you hold sprint while you're skidding along a wall and press the grab button, you'll start sprinting along the wall. It's pretty cool and nothing beats jumping off a swing line, hitting the wall, sprinting along it for a few seconds and then swinging off again. Try it. Let's talk grappling. You know what I mean, punches and kicks are great, but sometimes don't you just want to grab a guy by the scruff of the neck and throw him into the nearest wall? Uh, well, maybe that's just me. Anyway, if you want to grab a guy, just hold the grab button while webbing him up. You know, as cool as crawling is, sooner or later it's going to start feeling pretty slow. Hold the sprint button to speed up your crawl. Boy, that sprint button is pretty handy, isn't it? If you hop up in the air and press the attack button, you can do a nice spinning kick attack. It's a pretty good tactic for getting out of the way of an attack and attacking at the same time. If you're charging your jump as you skid along a wall, try releasing jump. You'll do a jump off the wall and retain a lot of your forward momentum. While you're jumping off buildings and swinging around, don't forget to stop yourself before you hit the ground. I mean, after all, you may be a superhero, but that doesn't make the ground any softer if you hit it from 50 stories up. If you buy the cannonball kick from the Spidey store, and I recommend it, you can actually attack while swinging. Get good at it and you'll be knocking thugs over like bowling pins. Hey. Check this out. If you're swinging and you press and hold the swing button instead of letting go, you'll hold onto two web lines. The one you were swinging on before and the new one you just shot out. Why would you want to do that? Well, there's something for you to think about, huh? If you aren't already doing it, you should definitely try jumping between your swings. One advantage is that you can steer yourself in the air. Makes it a little easier to maneuver when you can reorient a little before you shoot out another web line. You know, one of the hardest things to get used to about swinging is that you're always a little out of control, but don't freak out. If you panic, you'll just end up making things worse. You know, if you do a charge jump while you're crawling, you can scale buildings a lot faster. Now you probably know this already, being the expert gamer that you are. <laughs> but you can charge your jump while you're swinging around. It's really handy. Just keep pressing the jump button until you're ready to jump and then wham, off you go. If you do it right, you can charge jump off your web and get some serious distance. If you press and hold the web button while you're facing an enemy, you'll tie him up. Careful though, some enemies can't be tied up and some will even turn the tables on you. <laughs> Everyone looks at the controller and whines, there's only one attack button. Will you give me a break? Just because there's only one button called attack doesn't mean it's the only one you can use. It's called a manual. Try to show a little initiative at least. While you're flying through the air, that's during a game I mean, Try pressing the jump button. You can do all kinds of crazy moves in the air. Okay, here's a hint for you. You can use a charged jump while you're stopped on a building to jump across from one building to a different building across the street. I don't know how useful that is, but you might find it handy. You can jump the gap between these two towers by charging your jump. Charge jumping is easy and fun. You should be doing it all the time. Seriously. There are all kinds of cool knickknacks you can pick up in the Spidey store, and some of them are definitely high ticket items. The most expensive item is a special speed upgrade. When you see it, you'll understand why.
something different. Something different. 